Welcome back. We are already up to a lovely 50 degrees, going all the way up to 71 today. Uh, 611 is your current time. Really, would you buy meat? Meat from a door-to-door -door salesman? I don't know. They are in full force right now, and here to tell us about how to avoid a bad deal is Glenn Lloyd from Consumer Protection. Meat. Would they have a truck with a fridge in the back? That's right. They do. They do. But let me ask you another question. Would you buy uh, securities uh, from somebody that showed up at your door? Absolutely not. Well, that, uh, listen to the people that are knocking on the door right now. Home improvement, lawn services, vacuum cleaners, as you said, meat, and uh, even investments are being sold door to door. You're, you're interested in the meat being sold door to door because it sounds kind of odd. These people never tell you price per pound of the meat. So you have no idea of, you know, you can't do in comparison shopping because you don't know the price per pound. A lot of people pay twice what you might pay for in the store. But I just also think of, of safety. If they're keeping it in a refrigerated truck, you know, where, where's, where are the checks and balances that it hasn't been, been thawed and then cooled down again? Well, that, that's something that you're, uh, you're going to have to consider, too. Uh, you know, a lot of these people don't tell you what they are selling. They might knock on the door and say that you're a winner and we will deliver this prize to you. And they, and they mention the air filtration system. Mm -hmm. And uh, that means vacuum cleaner. When somebody knocks on your door and mentions air filtration, mm -hmm. that's a vacuum cleaner. And it might be a very expensive vacuum cleaner. So know that the people bringing your, your prizes may be trying to sell you a vacuum cleaner. Let me ask you a question and turn it around on you a little bit. Uh, when would it be okay to buy something from a door-to-door -door salesman? Because we have done stories in the past. Be careful with this. Be careful with that. When would it be okay? Uh, to me, uh, never. Because a lot of these people have, all, have very long contracts and with fine print that you have to sign right uh, as, as they're standing on your doorstep. So don't be pressured into signing a contract. No, never be pressured into signing a contract. Call Consumer Protection to find out if there are any complaints. Mm -hmm. But uh, And if anybody tries to pressure you or take you down to the bank, call the police up and have the police come out and check these people over. You know what, I just, I don't open my door anyway. If it's someone I don't know, I don't need to be opening my door. I wish everyone were like you. Not not every uh, is like that. Some people trust too much. It'd be a crazy world if everyone was like me. <laughs> All right, uh, just really quickly uh, for contractors: read the fine print. Have a three-day right to cancel. Seller must provide two written copies of their right to cancel. But there again, I think it's very important that you said really you shouldn't be doing things with people selling door to door. I wouldn't. Okay. There you go. There you have it. For more information for consumer protection, please check on our web channel, NBC15.com. There is a link to consumer protection. Glenn Lloyd, thank you very much. My pleasure. Appreciate your time. All right, guys, take it away. Gas prices on the rise, huh?